Several different organizations around Indianapolis are coming together to help out kids and teenagers, making sure they are taking charge of their future. There are a couple of meetings, in fact, mentoring conferences coming up, one for boys and one for girls. We're joined here this morning by Judge Jeffrey Gaither. Good morning to you. You're the magistrate, of course, for the Juvenile Division of Marion County uh, Superior Court. Yes. We're joined here by Parrish as well. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for joining mm -hmm. us. Let's start at the very beginning. First of all, what have you been seeing in the court system that really kind of inspired this program? Well, I've been on the bench since 1995, and I've seen a number of children and family come through the court. And for the first 10 years that I was on the bench, I said, we got to do something to change the narrative. So I created this conference so we could reach out to uh, the children in the community and show them there's another way, that life doesn't have to be in terms of the choices they have been making. So uh, we created the Young Women's Empowerment Conference actually three years ago. So this is the third year for the girls. This is the first year for the boys. And I just wanted them to provide an, uh, them an opportunity for growth and empowerment and upliftment. And I think we're going to achieve that. As, as the court system evolves. I know so many people say oh, just, you're just there to get a sentence. But that's really not the case. You're really there to make a difference. And that really starts at such a young age. Yes, it does. I mean, with this, this is not your, your, your daddy's juvenile court. We really have changed. And, and uh, I've, I've taken it upon myself really to be an outreach, if you will, and try to go out and do something before the children get to court. And often it's about the degradation of the family. If we could just do something to change the narrative, if we could just keep um, mothers and fathers in the home and, and make them husbands and wives before they become mothers and fathers, that really will change the trajectory of some of the children that we face. And to that end, what is the mentoring with both boys and girls at this upcoming event, the two separate ones for, for each gender? What does this really kind of help to do with those children? Oh, well, this, this is the genius in this, uh, in, in this effort because on the 14th, it's a two-part conference. One is... Uh, mentors and men who provide mentoring services and agencies who provide mentoring services are going to meet. And your own WTHR, Steve Jefferson, is going to moderate that conversation. And so they're going to come together and talk about how to be a better mentor, what are the, some of the common in issues that the mentors have and, and contract compliance and, and court expectations and things of that nature. And at the same time, the young men who receive mentoring services are going to meet on the other side of school and participate in workshops. They're going to talk about uh, spoken word, uh, athletics and education, career, business and education, acting and improvisation, all kinds of fun activities. And that brings us to you. As, as a mentee, what are some of the lessons that you've taken away from this experience? Um, I just learned to uh, be more grateful for things and learn to listen to a lot more people instead of just trying to do everything by myself and trying to be ahead of something that I'm not. How has it kind of changed your life from where you were before to the journey to where you are now? New boy is just, if you commit yourself to actually wanting to change, you just got to keep working at it, and it'll come over time, and you'll start to really realize what things are more important in life. Great. Well, thank you both very much for joining us. Again, you have the two events coming up on the 14th to 21st. We have more information for you on WTHR.com. That first mentoring conference is for young men. That's coming up on Saturday, October 14th. That will take place at Warren Central High School. The second is for young ladies. That one will be held on Saturday, October 21st, also at Warren Central High School. We thank you both for coming in this morning. Now, like you said, you've got a great panel of people coming in, including yes. our own Steve Jefferson. So yes. looking forward to all that. Again, much more information for you on WTHR.com. Thank you. So ahead